Hello there guys, welcome to the next mission in our Usonian Platinum playthrough of the whole campaign. Getting every Platinum medal on every mission on hard difficulty. This mission is level... 4? It's either 3 or 4. I've had to come back to it due to failing previously, but it's relatively straightforward. The main thing with this one is to take it super slow and steady because it's one of those missions where you don't actually get to build a base and build a spammer troops. Therefore, every little bit of damage that you take, every single model that you bleed, hurts. So you just need to take it super slow and steady. You want to buff up Mason as much as possible. You want him to be taking all the damage from the big fights. What'll it be? Mason standing by. And then you can just use a medic kit to fully heal him, and that's a lot. 700 HP and medium armor. That's a damn lot. Unfortunately, he does move extremely slowly, so it kind of makes the mission pretty slow paced. It's definitely easier if you use saves as well. Because there's a couple of things in this mission, like the very end, as well as the bit where you kill the Grimbart with Randolph, that is much easier if you can save beforehand. Infantry ready. We're moving. Regardless, as I say, let him tank it. We're ready to go. Hold up. Not today. And dodge the grenades if you can. That was a bit of a fail. So, what are the challenges that you have to do to get the Platinum on this one? You've only got one primary objective, so that's nice and easy. As far as the rest of it is concerned, you need to kill a Grimbart with Randolph, which is quite difficult because he's basically like one single model of an engineer squad. Um, you have to... Never deploy the exosuit, which is why Mason's like so annoyingly slow, because you never are allowed to let him out of it. I mean, you can go out of it, but then you can't redeploy it, so... Actually, no, you can't even do that. You can't even leave the exosuit. You have to stay in it at all times. And then also, at the very end, you've got like a little survival thing, and you have to not lose the... You have to kill everything else first, and then kill the Wartan last. That's quite hard, because the Wartan's scary, it does big damage. This bit can be quite tricky. Um, one way of dealing with it is to send Randolph up to the top, activate the radio transceiver, make all the infantry run up, and then you just go past them. But you still have to fight like three squads of Stormtroopers. It can be quite damaging to Mason. The tip that I would give you is to leave this medic kit, you might be tempted to heal up one of your other squads with it. Let Mason tank all the damage against all this shit, and then you can send him back. Now the gunner's the only real thing that's going to threaten the mason, and there you go. You can deal with them fairly easily. There's the Grimbart that we're going to have to kill with Randolph soon. Tell me there's a plan. 
The rest of this mission is relatively easy now until the end. The ending bit is pretty much the hardest and then actually trying to get the uh, Grimbat killed with Randolph is pretty awkward as well. What do you think happened to the others? Saxonians probably took them. There's a chance they were kept alive for interrogation. Alright, let's get the MG set up over here. Yeah, that works. Tell me there's a plan. Checking it out. First the track they captured in the desert, and now airships? What's going on? They say these people in the desert were Europeans. Are you joking? Why would Europeans cross the desert? Alright. See if we can bait him out with Mr. Wells. Any direction is better than none. There's an enemy. Better get him. That might have worked. I'm not sure. Who knew that? Enemy units empty. Units want to be seen. Let's just get Wells back. It's not really going to contribute to the combat. I don't know what this guy with the MG is doing so far forward. What an idiot. There we go. The Saxonian governor controlled the modernized coastal cities. Little islands in a sea of sand. The desert between the cities was the domain of the proud and mysterious Bedouin. What are you doing? My job. Chronicling our adventure, or our final moments, the way things are looking. Just name it. Mason taking fire. Mason. Let's be smart. This Bible is safe. Who knew that? No other way. Very smart now. Stairs. Stand by. What is it? Checking it out. Got something? Captain Mason here. Mason standing by. Agreed. Here we go again. Anti-mech guns ready. Advance. Perfect. Got some? Captain so we'll go heal me some of the medical supplies. And the rest of these guys. Too hot. And then we have to go fight the Grimbat. What's the next move? Oh, he's just so slow. Waiting for orders. Gunners. Goodness. Just name it. Just so slow. Tell me there's a plan. Better get going. So we're coming up to the spot where we actually kill the Grimbat with Randolph. Let's be smart about it. There are some Grimbats later on, but this is by far the easiest yeah, position because it's on its own. Whereas in the late game there's a load of other infantry and you've got a load of troops and it's just messy. It's the only way down. We're in for a fight. We're on the way. So the the key trick here is you've got level two Mason, full HP, he's gonna bait the enemy, um, and he's gonna tank most of the damage, basically. While Randolph runs around the back. And then you get the gunners on the side just to also drop the uh, HP on this motherfucker. There you go. You're doing something, Randolph. You're doing something, that's for sure. Come on, big Randy. Tell me there's a plan. Here goes. 
I need to keep moving because the fucking Grimbat's going to level up. Oh, God, that was close. There you go. So that's Randolph killing the Grimbat. That should be one of the challenges complete. So the other one is to never deploy the exosuit for Mason. And then in the end, we get to the very end of the mission and the Wartan spawns, we need to kill everything else first and then the Wartan. And it can be quite challenging, actually. You need to basically preserve your first aid kits, is my advice. For the final battle. But I'll show you a trick, a good little trick you can use. It's basically all about the barbed wire. Over there. Ah, civilization. You always get more value for getting a full HP bar of HP from on Mason via a medkit than you do for a couple of models on your infantry squad. So bear that in mind as well. A small village with a train station. Ah, more like a train station with a village. Okay. Just say the word. This better be. What's the next move? Mason moving out. Better get a move on. I see them. Tell me there's a plan. Who knew there'd be so much walking? Waiting for orders. What is it? Here we go again. I'm on the way. It's a beautiful landscape, really. What's the next move? Say the word. As mentioned before, this is very much a slow and steady kind of mission. Very much slow and steady. Oh shit! Get back, Randy. They don't usually throw the grenades, these guys, but just be wary if they do. It's a lot of wasted HP if they do land a grenade on you. This medic kit's important, don't waste that right now. You need all the medic kits you can get for the end game here. At this point, Mason can pretty much solo everything. So just let him. Nothing wrong with that, and then you get your level 4 Mason. And you should be in a, have a good time. You should have a good time and be in a good spot. There's a couple of HMGs up here, but they're not really a threat to Mason. You can solo them quite easily. Just don't fight it at maximum range, try and bait it forward. And again, watch out for nades. The actual submachine guns don't really do anything to him because he's medium armor. Level 4, and we're pretty much sorted. Mason, 
Here we go again. Gun squad here. Topping up supplies. Just say the word. Let's get it up. Fire! Enemy oh, not today. Let's be smart about it. I didn't actually mean to open up the engineer box, I'm gonna have to grab that now because you do want the engineers to heal up Mason without having to waste, um, you know, first aid kits. They don't seem to be hitting. Because they have to go prone to set up their guns, they tend to struggle if the enemy if there's like a wall in front of them because they'll just shoot the wall instead hopefully because we get a cutscene now it'll automatically heal my guys we'll see doesn't really matter if it doesn't we've got plenty of medkits left Okay. That's it. Primary objective complete. It's a Captain Mason here. Here. What is it? Let's go. No more playing Pipe around. Here. New primary objective received. Tell me there's a plan. Checking it out. This better be good. Waiting for orders. Right, so with the engineers you want to send them down here and build some barbed wire down this side so the enemy can't pass. Then they have to just come from the front and that trivializes things quite a lot. Might as well. Yo, let's go. Keeping our asses in cover. You do want to Oh, no, just use the medkit. I didn't mean to. Uh, you meant to pick up the uh, field cannon. That's my bad. I definitely don't want to be wasting the medkit there. Doesn't really matter. I like to put wells up here just out of the way so he's not going to die. It's pretty useless like that otherwise. Probably want to destroy all these like explosive barrels and stuff. They end up just sort of punishing you I feel otherwise. I'd like to build a sandbag there. I like the grenades as well over the uh, LMGs. Definitely want the field cannon to move up. Because the enemy actually can run through this like back, um, gap in the walling and then they'll sort of flank you and be behind you and it's annoying. It's better to be here and then you can shoot down and the enemies below but they get protection with the sandbags from anyone who runs through the gap in the wall. Which is nice. Mason standing by. The flames are pretty annoying. It's not really too big of a deal losing them. 
It's not ideal, but it doesn't matter. As I said before, your medkits are obviously far more valuable when used on Mason than anyone else. You can heal Mason with the engineers in between fights as well. Get inveterancy on these guys will be helpful. You do have to be careful with this final wave. I think there's two more waves first. I think there's double eyes in hand and then there's a Wotan wave at the end. What's the next move? I'll take engaging targets. Ready and willing. Mason standing by. I'll get it lit up. Give me more piss. Not today. Killing the gunners is obviously always the priority. They're the ones that can actually hurt you with your medium armor. Oh, and dodge grenades. The eyes and hands will do decent chip chip too. But nothing crazy. So I'm going to weaken the Wotan right now. I don't actually want to kill it. Because remember, you want to kill the Wotan last. Unit preservation at this point doesn't really matter. So just kill every other fucker. Still got this first aid to heal up Mason again. For some reason the Wartan always tries to focus on the infantry, so you can really exploit that. And just finish it off with your boy, Mason. Oh good. That should be the Platinum Medal then. Now 
You never deployed Mason. We used Randolph to kill the Grimbat and we killed the Wartan last out of everything. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I think it might be bugged. 